Good morning. I just wanted to take a second and uh, show you guys something that I learned, I think, quite a while ago. I've been downloading my albums from Facebook like this for uh, probably six or seven months now. Um, but this is how I download them, like for my team every month um, when I go to a website and find an album for the month and I just download the entire thing and then upload it to our team page. Um, and I'm not sure if this is well known to everybody, so I may just be repeating something that you already know, but um, it just dawned on me that maybe I should probably share it because I don't know how many people actually know how to use it. So if you go to Google and type in, um, I forget what I even typed in, hold on, let's look. Facebook album downloader and it's the very first one right here and if you're using Chrome um, it'll pop this up I don't know if you have to have Chrome to use this I have always used Chrome so I'm not absolutely positive um, but if you go ahead and download that like where it's, it'll say something over here but I already have mine on there um, and it'll look like this up here Okay, so whenever you go to a website, so we're just going to go to Big Pink Playground, Photos, Albums, and then once you find an album that you want to download, so let's just say, we'll just go here. So if you want to download this entire album, like sometimes what you do is you click on the picture, you save image as, you go in and save it, and you do this one by one by one by one. Um, that is annoying, right? <laughs> so what you can do is once you're open in the album that you want, go up here to this um, download Facebook album and click on that. Just click normal. I don't usually mess with any of that stuff. Um, I just click cancel on this part. I don't ever use that. And it's going to pop up this screen here. So then it will tell you up here, you know, press control S or command S. Okay, so if you just do control S, it's going to bring up um, this right here and it's going to say HTML at the end and it's going to have web page complete. So you want to go in and save it to wherever you're saving your documents and go ahead and click save. And it'll download it and then you go into your group or wherever you want to download it. Um, I usually just go to my team page. And then go into photos, create album. And then I open up my folder where all of those pictures were and I do control all or control a if you're on a Mac I don't know what it is I am just on a regular HP laptop so I'm not familiar with a Mac but um, so you'll just do control all and it will select all the pictures and just click open and then it's gonna start to download your album so then you can go over here and change the name. Um, if you want to say something about the album, where they were taken, tags, anything like that. Um, I always do the high quality and then you'll just wait for everything to download. Which it'll take, a, depending on how big your um, album size is, is how long it'll take it. I mean, if you just have, you know, one or two pictures, then it's not going to take very long but the more pictures you have the longer it's going to take but it's still faster than going in and saving all of those pictures individually okay so there's all of your stuff in there so we're going to put May bundles prices because there's no prices on those ones And you can see, like, as you scroll, it shows kind of the progress of everything. But like I said, the bigger your album is, which, 
guess I really wasn't thinking that when I was going to show you this. But um, So then you'll be able to uh, click on this finally down here and just click post. And again, depending on your album size. And voila, there is your Facebook album. So if you go back to your page and scroll down, you'll see there is your entire album. All right, I hope that helps somebody. Like I said, I'm not sure how well known that is. So hopefully this will help someone. Thanks.